Okay, so this is going to be my official Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo prediction. The undisputed 168 pound champion and Canelo Alvarez versus the undisputed 154 pound champion in uh, Jamel Charlo. Um, we all thought it was the brother, it turned out to be the little brother. Let's start by going through the tail of the tape. Canelo Alvarez stands at 5 foot 8. He is a 70 and a half inch reach. He's 32 years of age, but he's an old 32. He's got almost 70 professional fights under his belt. His record reached 59 wins, two losses, and two draws. And in reality, Canelo's record should be more like 57 wins, four or five losses, and one draw, because Golovkin beat him twice, and Arizlandi Lara arguably beat him. Now, as far as Jamel Charlo goes, he stands at five foot eleven, so a three inch height, height advantage for uh, for Charlo. He's a seventy three inch reach, so he's got a two and a half inch reach advantage over uh, Canelo, and he's thirty three years of age, so they're basically the same age. Now, Charlo's record reached thirty five wins, one defeat, and one draw. Um, that one draw uh, was from Brian Castano. I actually thought Brian Castano won that fight. So in my opinion, Charlo should have two losses, one to Harrison and one to Castaño. And I'm not downgrading Charlo because in Charlo's two losses or two losses he should have had in Harrison and Castaño, he avenged him. He came back and beat them both. So had, and Charlo does deserve some credit for that, for sure. Um, I wasn't crazy about Canelo fighting uh, the brother just because the brother had been so, so inactive for so long. Um, I do like this fight better than Canelo fighting the brother because the brother's been out of the ring for three years or two and a half years or whatever. So I am a little bit bigger of a fan of this fight than I would have been uh, um, against the brother, okay? Now, as far as stylistically goes, I see a lot of people uh, saying that Canelo Alvarez is starting to slip maybe a little bit and that very well may be true. Um, taking nothing away from Dimitri Bivol's performance, he would have beat him regardless. But Canelo did look a little worse for wear against John Ryder. Now, I'm not calling John Ryder a bum or anything like that, but that is somebody that Canelo should have stopped and gotten out of there in his homecoming fight in Mexico. Okay? So maybe Canelo's, there's a little, you know, a little too much tread on the tires for Canelo Alvarez there. And if Canelo is starting to slip, if there is a little too much tread on those tires, um, Charlo might be the guy to to show that, to exploit that. You know, um, Jermel Charlo has one thing that Canelo, a lot of Canelo's opponents that have given him trouble and or beat him uh, have, which is a very good, powerful jab. Jermel Charlo does have that, okay? And... You know, the guy, when you look at the guys who've defeated Canelo, Triple G, Bivol, Floyd, and arguably Lara, they all had a great jab, man. And Charlo, I don't think Charlo's got as good of a jab as any of those guys, but he's got a sufficient one. And that's, you know, been known to give Canelo some, some issues in the past. And Charlo does have a lot of power. Um, I actually think this will be a fun fight. I, I'm not going to discredit the fight i will say i would have much preferred to see canelo fight benavidez or dimitri bavol again or arthur baturbiev but i i can live with this fight i'm not going to call it it's a little bit of a cherry pick since Can charlo's moving up in weight but let's also not forget that canelo also fought at 154 pounds too once upon a time so i'm not going to come out here and completely shit on this fight like I do with most of Canelo's fights. I do think it's going to be a fun fight. Um, the opening odds, you know, I'm recording this on the 1st of July. So the opening odds had Canelo at a minus 200. I expected him to open it as a much higher favorite. Um, but interesting fight nonetheless, man. I think that Charlo's going to have the training camp of his life. I think he's going to try his best, and I do think Charlo's going to give a good account of himself. I do think Charlo will give Canelo some issues off the jab. I do think Charlo's, and I understand that Canelo has a granite chin. We've never even seen him drop. We've seen him buzzed a few times, 
against Miguel Cotto's brother and Golovkin and Bivol. But we've never seen him down or or out on his feet or anything like that. So, um, as much as as good as uh, power as Charlo does have, I don't think it's anything that Canelo hasn't felt before. And as far as the size discrepancy between Charlo and Canelo, again, that's something that Canelo has dealt with many times before. Callum Smith was bigger than him. Bivol was bigger than him. Kovalev was bigger than him. Except I, I would say Golovkin's more or less slightly bigger than him, but they're more along in the same accord. So I don't really think this is anything Canelo hasn't seen before. Um, I think that I think that it's a good fight. I don't like the fact that Charlo's having to move up two weight classes for it, but it, it, it's a good fight nonetheless. I do think Charlo's jab and his movement and his power might give Canelo some issues. Um, and especially, like I say, if Canelo's starting to slip a little bit. However, I've always viewed Jermel Charlo, both the Charlos for that matter, as a little bit chinny. They just don't get hit enough. They're tough. I'm not saying they don't have any balls or anything, but they can be hit. And, you know, if Brian Castano is rocking to you to your boots, then imagine what Canelo's going to do to you when he lands a flush hook to the liver or a flush hook to the chin or something to that extent. You know what I'm saying? So I do think Charlo's going to go in there and give a great account of himself. I think this fight's going to have some ebbs and flows to it. I think it's going to be a very interesting back and forth fight where both guys are going to have their moments. I think both guys are going to get rocked in this fight, and I'm actually looking forward to it a little bit. But ultimately, Canelo does have the experience. In my opinion, he's got the better chin. They both do have power, and if power shows up on both sides of, their, of that, Canelo's chin will outlast Charlo's, okay? Canelo's also the better better body puncher of, of, of uh, that, a better body puncher than Charlo, and I think that's something that he needs to take into account as well. So yes, he's got a little bit of size. Yes, he's got a little bit of power, but that's not something that Canelo hasn't dealt with or seen before, guys. So for my official prediction in this fight, I think Charlo's going to go in there, give a good account of himself. I do think he's going to give Canelo a tough fight. Um, but ultimately I do think the experience, the durability and, you know, and the grit from Canelo Alvarez will be a little bit too much for Jamel Charlo. And I'm not a big fan of either of these guys. So I really don't have a dog in the race. I just want to see a good fight, man. Um, but ultimately I do got to lean slightly towards Canelo Alvarez in this fight. I think it's more of like a 65-35 type of fight. And I, another thing is, I don't think they're going to uh, give Charlo a decision in this fight. Not after the PBC just signed Canelo. I don't see that happening either. So, unless Charlo decisively beats him like eight rounds to four or nine rounds to three or something, I don't think Canelo's going to have much to worry about on the cards. If it's close, they'll most likely give Canelo the nod. But... Um, I think those body shots from uh, Canelo are going to take their toll midway through this fight. I think Charlo will be a little worse for wear. His power won't be what it was in the first few rounds of the fight. And that's where I think Canelo is going to capitalize in this fight. I think in the back end of this fight, Canelo's pressure, his durability and his aggression eventually, and his body work is going to take its toll on Charlo. And I see... Um, Canelo getting Charlo out of there late. So for my official prediction, I'm going to say Canelo wins this fight by, by, by I'm going to say Canelo wins this fight on, on a close competitive decision. Okay. Maybe he gets Jamel out of there late. That's what I would say. So that's my two cents anyways, guys. It's, it's a good fight. Not the fight I wanted to see. And a lot of other fans wanted to see, but I can live with it, is, is, is what I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, And I don't have a dog in the race. As you guys know, I dislike Canelo, and I'm not very crazy about Charlo either. So, uh, but yeah, for my official prediction, I'm going to take Canelo Alvarez to win this fight on points. 
in a tough fight where both guys have their moments. Maybe he gets Charlo out of there in the last couple rounds of the fight. So that's my two cents anyways, guys. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.